creating and publishing test case work items. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create, populate, and publish a test case work item on the team project. We can create a test case work item in a number of ways. First of all, we can use the content controls at the relevant locations to create a smart part. Although this method gives users total control of the process, however, this may not be the easiest way, especially for novice users. Another way is to use the predefined structure of the test case work item. These can be accessed through the process template in the smart panel. Using this method, we can create test case work items in table, form, or bullet structure. Out of these, the form structure is the most easy and comprehensive. We have created test case work items using two different methods. However, the recommended way is to create any type of work item using the wizard. Let's now create a test case work item using this way. We begin by creating a node for our work item and naming it. Next we would choose the type of the work item. Test case for the current scenario. After choosing the work item type, we would decide how we want our test case to be displayed in the document. The available options are table, form, and bullet. As described in the last method, form is the recommended option. The next step involves choosing the properties of the test case that we want to show in our document. We can change the order of these properties using these arrow button. In the end, we choose the heading of our work item as it would appear in our document. For this, we may give the desired text here or choose from this drop-down control here. We have seen that the wizard method is not only just user-friendly, it gives the users total control on how they want to create their test case or any other type of work item. Using wizard to create work items also means that users do not have to explicitly create smart parts. The wizard takes care of this step automatically, and this insert smart part icon appears in the ribbon bar as the result. Now that we have created our test case work item, the next step is to populate it with relevant text. To create more test cases, we can use the insert smart part option and then populate these like we have done recently. However, for the time being, we won't be creating other test cases. After we populate our test case with relevant text, the next step is to publish it on the team project. Now let us check the test case work item on the team project.
our test case has been published on the team project. Thanks for watching this tutorial.